Okay, we're going to create the button now. Um, first thing I've done is I've added another frame at the end with another keyframe there. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see what's going on. So on the actions, I'm create I create another frame, then I make it a keyframe, then I go to um, Windows Action Stop. So it's exactly the same. The easy way of doing it is to right hand click the, the previous action keyframe that we created, copy it and paste it into the new one. So it stops there and it stops there. On the frame 21 now, you'll see there's a bit of text pop up. I just created a little text box there and put some information in it so you can see when I click that it will go to that page. And that's on its own, in its own keyframe. So it doesn't appear there. So first the animation will run like that and it will stop there. And then when we create the button in a minute, that button will just flick it to this keyframe. So a simple button. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new layer and I call it button. Then I'm going to grab the circle tool, the oval tool and make that button a bright orange. Now I'm going to add it here. It's not a button at the moment, it's a graphic. Right, once you've created that on the button layer, be careful that it is on the button layer. Just a little tip here, you can lock these layers so you can't edit them. So whatever I do, I can't edit any of this now because the layer is locked. You can also make them in invisible as well, which can be handy when you're dealing with lots of lots of stuff on the stage. Okay now to make that into a button I click it to select it and I right hand click and I convert to symbol. I choose type button and I name it. Always name it because otherwise you can't you can't distinguish one from the other if it's called symbol one, two and three, you don't know which it is, so always label it what it is, give it a descriptive name click OK, double click it and we go into the properties where you can set other things for it like I'm gonna click the frame over and just press F5 for that then I'm gonna press F6 to make it its own keyframe then I'm gonna select it in the over frame make it white now what that does is when it's up normally before the mouse has gone over it it will be that color but when the mouse goes over it it will turn white now I'm going to go back so I click scene here and now I'm going to add an action and I want it to go to frame 21 so windows action go to let me just get rid of that right it's not selecting properly if it's not you can't see the options coming up it's probably because you selected off it's quite good that error occurred so you click on it then go to go to now you should get this if you just get go to and play you need to click off a bit um, delete the action like this so select the, the last line click the minus click it again you should get the go to you should get these these bits come up here make sure you've got script assist if you've got it off you're just going to get this and then you'll have to manually type all that stuff in which you don't want to do so I set the frame it's going to go to at 21 I've already got it to stop to stop because I put an action in there so I don't need to touch that so it's go to 21 and stop let go of it and that's basically it so now that will run through that looks a bit bad that looks a bit bad just staying in one position so I'm gonna make it tween a bit so I'm gonna select frame 20 and I'm gonna put a keyframe in F6 then I'm gonna tween this part here 
right hand click, motion tween, select the first frame, select it down here, alpha it to zero, and maybe drag it off over here. Make it bigger as well. Maybe make it bigger. Right now let's have a look at it. Here we go. Looks a bit funkier. And that's basically it, that's creating the button. And in the next lesson we'll talk about um, creating more buttons, actually making this into a real world situation type file. And we'll move in with them using the library. But for now, this is fine, let's just test it. that down and test this works that's my file let's just rewind that and play that again and you stop there click that and there you go so we know it executed okay that's it